Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the OpenGL API guys. So in our previous lecture also, we have gone through some introduction to OpenGL API. So in this lecture, we'll be going through some in-depth guys. Okay, so the block diagram for this OpenGL API will be in this way guys. So we'll be using the input output devices and you'll be sending our requirement to the graphical system and the graphical system will interact with the application program and the application program will return to the graphical system to do that, to do this and the graphical system will give you the output. So this is a cyclic process in which you will be displaying the images or any kind of objects onto your screen. So now let us go through the points. So OpenGL is a software interface to the graphical hardware. So this is used to interact with the graphical hardware. So API is nothing but application program interface. So the interface consists of about 150 distinct commands guys. So we know about GL Vertex, GL Ortho 2D, GL Frustum, sorry GL Glut Frustum or anything like that Glut Ortho 2D like that we are we know only few right. So there are almost 150 distinct commands in whole OpenGL guys that you use for specifying the object and operations needed to produce the required output. So in this way the input output so will be giving an input the graphical system will be searching for data and the application will be returning the function calls and it will be executing it and it will be giving the display of the output. So in this way it works guys. So the operation which OpenGL performs to render the image on the screen. Okay. So constructing shapes from the geometric primitives and these are created by using the help of the lines, polygon and points. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So so the arranging of the objects in 3D space, we will be also arranging the objects in the 3D space and we will be also calculating the color of the objects. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the different OpenGL functions guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.